This breaking is from India, and the nation is set for a crucial Gaganian test tomorrow. That's the 24th of August. The Indian Space Research Organization, the Air Force, and the Navy will join the forces or will join forces in a high stakes rehearsal for the country's first human space mission. If weather and technical conditions permit, the test called the Integrated Airdrop Test will take place around sunrise in the Bay of Bengal off Sri Hari Kota. A Chinook heavy lift helicopter will carry a four ton Gaganian capsule to an altitude of four kilometers and drop it into the sea. The capsule is designed to deploy multiple parachutes, slow its descent, and achieve a safe splashdown landing, a critical step for astronaut safety on re entry. The Navy's warship INS Anvesh will then recover the capsule using cranes while smaller boats and divers secure at sea. The tests will be tracked from the air and sea by ISRO, the Navy and the Air Force. Parachutes for the, this mission have been developed by DRDO. This is one of thousands of tests ISRO must complete before India can send astronauts into space. More airdrop trials, abort tests and multiple unmanned flights lie ahead. Our principal correspondent, Siddharth MP, is now joining us on the phone. Siddharth MP, could you quickly tell us about this latest uh, project by ISRO and the Navy and also the Air Force? Yeah, Eric, in fact, this is one of the most significant tests for Gaganyan. Many tests, in fact, hundreds or thousands of tests happen behind closed doors in a very restricted environment, but this is one of those rare tests that happen out in the open. Imagine you drop a stone from the 10th story of a building. The stone just comes and uh, falls flat straight, right? That's how it happens. It falls in a matter of seconds. But if that stone is attached to a parachute, it de descends very slowly and then comes and falls very slowly like a feather. The same thing is being done with the Gaganyan capsule. It's massive. It's about 4, 4.5 tons, which is 4,500 kilo, kilos appro approximately. So when this is dropped, just like that from the air, it falls like a stone. But if you attach parachutes to it, it slows down and then gradually comes and falls. You might recall when Indian astronaut Shubhanshu Shukla came down and splashed down off the American coast, his actually craft, the crew drag craft was connected to parachutes. So the parachutes are meant to slow down the craft and then bring it for a splashdown landing. So in this particular case, Israel is exactly rehearsing that final moment because in the last couple of the launch the capsule has to come and slowly land on the water it shouldn't fall you know extremely rapidly so this test is ex exactly for that purpose so that the capsule gradually falls and it falls like a feather so that it's a smooth and safe touchdown for the astronauts and thereafter the astronauts are rescued from the capsule of course in tomorrow's test it will be an empty capsule or a dummy it's just going to be heavy but there's nobody inside the capsule so this is the crucial test that will be conducted tomorrow eric and of course uh, we are given to understand that all conditions are favorable and they will be going ahead with that test tomorrow eric all right that is our principal correspondent siddharth mp he's talking about the indian space research organization the air force and the navy will join forces in high stakes rehearsal for the country's first human space mission and this is a crucial gaganian test which will be conducted tomorrow on the 24th of august